Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plato So My name is Nissa and today is another mod day. So we are looking at today the Lar Gibbon. I will say though there are two Gibbons uh, currently mod available that are updated. One being the Lar Gibbon, which we look at today. And the other one being the Northern White Cheek Gibbon, which I will look at tomorrow. However, they're both made by Le Leaf, so I have them in here and we will look at them together. Um, but if you want full videos on both, one today, one tomorrow. Um, so yeah, here it is. As you can see, the pictures on the uh, Nexus, if you only look at the first picture that is up there on Nexus, then the La Gibbon have this light coloration and the Northern White Cheek Gibbon have the uh, black coloration. The thing is though, it's gendered for both. So the females will have this color, uh, color uh, that is this tan brownish color, and the uh, males on both of them will be black. Just so you don't pick only for that one picture. Um, but let's get into the game here, and you can see here we have the male that is black already. I will say though, I have one. Um, <laughs> we're gonna start with the males here uh, we have the lar gibbon which is the one we look at today here and then we have i have done something with my screen yes i have sorry and then we have the male northern white cheek gibbon here i just need to center you um because i'm getting confused when you're not in the middle on my screen so just to make sure that i place things in the middle that you can actually see we're gonna do it like this um i think they're coming here the large given again should be on the right uh, and they are both made by leaf it seems like the uh white sheet northern white cheeked given over here is uh, wet so that have something to do with it again i expect kind of the same for both of them uh, they are again gibbons kind of closely related to the simon which we have in the game so i think they were made out of their dad uh, the major difference here is of course the white cheek on the northern white cheek gibbon uh, we have here we have the white part in here instead only uh, and then the face over here seems more uh wide in the top here you can see the widest piece is up here at the top of the ears where here it's the cheeks that's the widest part so we also have a little bit of um shape difference it also seems again this one is white but it seems like the muscle is thicker on the large gibbon over here none of them have tails because again they are gibbons but again if people get confused real easy like me uh, i just wanted to show that so you can see a clear difference again you can choose one you can choose both of them or you can choose but neither that's really the choices you have um oh that wasn't what i wanted just gonna turn the sun i feel like it's a little yeah, it could be a little better. Um, then I want to see the females. Again, we put the Lar Gibbon over here to the left and the Northern White Cheeked one to the right. And then we're going to see here. There's also a clear difference. It's clearly more like a warm tone with the Northern White Cheek Gibbon. Then it is on the um, lower gibbon. The northern white cheek also have these wider parts here, but the, it's not like the males. It's very much like um, like it's kind of the first there is just haven't grown out. It kind of looks like wow, a lot of them have scars. I'm not sure why. And then again, the Lar Gibbon have this white all the way around. So on the females, it actually seemed like the white is more prominent on the uh, Lar Gibbon. 
yeah, sorry, I I'm confused, and it's just one of those days today. But yeah, uh, otherwise, again, colorations is a little different. They both lighter in here, and again, muscles on the given seems bigger, but here it also seems, and maybe it's the way they stand. It's clear to see. I didn't see the same difference with the males, but this one looks thin compared to this one. Um, and then again, we have the facial shape, but we have the same shape here as we had with the male Largim. But here where the male white, uh, northern white cheek, uh, where we thick here with the cheeks, it still is wider up here, uh, like, more like the Largim. And, and then they have this kind of midsection, you can see here, giving it these two humps up here. Um, which again is the smallest one. Uh, I'm just gonna to not confuse myself or anyone else. I'm gonna throw them away. The northern ones. I'm gonna not throw them away. Away. I'm just throwing them up here. So we are ready to make that video next. Um, and then yeah, let's go into Zoopedia for because we have a few things to see in here. Um, again, Lord Gibbon. It's uh endangered and we have 20,000 individuals of them in the wild. They are from Asia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar and Thailand and they live in the tropical biome. One of them need 150 square meters of land and 60 of plumble area. I think I have seen someone swim but maybe I remember wrong. We don't have any swimmers right now at least. Um. Live in places for 17 to 42 degrees Celsius. So unless you're building a house for them, where, like completely in-house, uh, make sure to give them heaters outside. Um, because they basically don't like the snow. Uh, great two fence above one and a half meter. That's not a lot, especially because it doesn't state climb proof fence. Though I would make sure that it would be climb proof. Um, uh, group size from two to six individuals all the way down and that can be up to six males or six females or again six bachelor six bachelor rich um so they aren't too particular with numbers they are monogamous and tutorial which mean if you only have one male he will not mate with all uh, four or five females how many you put in there if you want maximum babies, that's three of each gender. Uh, territories are maintained by loud vocalized singing, kind of like the proboscis. Uh, we have talked about much before. Uh, the nose monkey. Um, they are polyamorous, comfort... Monogamous, polyamorous... Leaf, explain yourself. Uh, polyamorous means that they will mate with everyone, so one male will mate with five females. I have no idea where he went wrong. Um, but one of them is true. Uh, I would guess by the fact that they are in this ape and monkey area of the world, I would guess polyamorous. Um, there are also some that do this where they are monogamous for this mating season and then they move on. Um, but if I make a build for them at some point, we will go further into that. Uh, confident around humans, but guests should not enter their habitat. They grow to about 18 inch long. Long, not tall, long. Hmm. Not sure which measure that is. Uh, live for around 40 years. That's quite a lot. Uh, and 13 pounds uh, for males and 12 for females. That's six and a half and six kilos. Uh, reach sexual, ma sexual maturity at age five. Most, again, ape monkey animals are around four years reproduce until they die again not all 
most. Um, only a single offspring per mating event and will be pregnant for eight months. They will only make babies every 36 months. That's three years. However, they should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. They have interspecies enrichment with the Saimang. Uh, I will just mention, if I click here and here, they have both the northern white cheek and the lower gibbon. Uh, I didn't check that before, but I was pretty sure because leaves are good to give them these. I would just wish that he also will, would give them with each other. So if you don't want the Simon, but you want both the Lar and the Northern White Cheek, then you will still get this uh, species enrichment thingy. Uh, for enrichment, we have 12 normal enrichment thingies. So we have the mirror thingy, of course, and then the two bobbins. Then we have the block of eyes and the grab ball. Then we have all four small balls that include the pumpkin. Just a important detail here. Most do, uh, mud doesn't. I don't know if they made before, but this one does. A rubber doggy, a light thingy, piano, of course. We have, hate the piano, but it's there. Uh, and then the spring left thingy. For food enrichment, we have the uh, tree forester. A uh, forester box, the um, pyramid mound, a block of frozen fruit, the uh, suspended forester, and the ro a small fixed roller feeder. It is the same as the Saimangs have again. So go down here, right Saimang, and you will get the right stuff. What's funny is they actually also have interspecies enrichment with two of these. I'm not sure which ones. Let me check that right away. You can see here we have the middle climbing frame beam and the middle climbing frame curve, 80 degrees and 90 degrees. So three of them, them ha they have enrichment with and not the others. Um, just weird little facts. Um, but yeah, let's let's get a close up. And why don't we start with the male because equality and Ladies first isn't a thing on my channel. It's for some reason always males first, but that's how I roll. Okay, first thing. If I do like this, I hope you can see it without me telling you. However, I know you probably don't see this video in full HD, maybe on your phone or something. So I will tell you either way. Magical, beautiful eyes. Now, I don't have these eyes, I have blue eyes, but if I look at a mirror and take the mirror all the way up, I can see all of these small lines in there of different blue and gray color. Here you can see every single uh, line of brown and other brown color. It's lighter in the middle, darker in the edge, which is kind of opposites where we have the white around, they have the black around. It's very beautiful. It has the right amount of shine, which I also find really important. For me, though, it looks like the one to my left, not the animal's left, my left, is a little bit larger than the one to my right. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it seems a little bit like it. Uh, we have all of these small wrinkles in between uh, on the nose bridge. We have wrinkles under the eyes. We have um, these porch where you can uh, these it's not normal porch they are a little bigger so you can see uh, hair strands gr can grow out of them uh, around the mouth area here beautiful nose we have that little shine inside of the nose a lot of animals are really snotty animals and it's just a life thing that makes animals more real to me when they have again not all animals but some animals this one's included the white around here has this little blue tint to it, which makes sense since the black hairs also have the blue tint. So you have this, even though it's black and white, it still has this drawn in colorations. They are beautiful. 
Um, they are not billed as males down here, which again, none of the animals are. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Um, again, hash strands, they are a little longer than I would have liked. Again, as gibbons have longer hair compared to some, again, ape monkey thingies. But it seems if you follow a strand, we have one going from there to there, and that's really realistic. One from there to there, also realistic. But we have one going from in here, following down here, and then it ends somewhere out here. That's really long hair, but it's a uh, small individual strands of hair. Again, you can see here up in the top, we don't have it here. We do have the beard uh, where the hair is more coarse, more sp uh, uh, space in between the hair strands. And so that that's just, <laughs> I think he missed the spot here, but honestly, and also there actually. Um, but it's not bad at all. The feet down here have a kind of an unnatural plasticky feel to them. Um, I think a part of it is the fact that they are shiny. And a part of it is the fact that even though they have this color hairs, uh, skin on the feet and the hands. They still would be dirty, so you wouldn't. It wouldn't be so prominent because they would be dirty. I think that is what throwing me off here. We all actually also here have a mist area, and here you can see the grass through the wrist. Um, but again, really minute details, and you know me, I can pick on anything, anything. Let's get one of the females up here. Uh, I have seen signs that we have multiple colorations of them. But the thing I come down to every time is that it's a lighting issue. So I think there's only the one coloration that I got. Uh, again, it can appear that there are more, but I just didn't get any. I get again, 10 of them. Uh, I expect the same uh, eyes and all of that. Yeah. Same gorgeous eyes, hair strands. The thing is, though, because this is lighter, it's easier to see through. We can see those lines go this way. Over here, that is the rig. Um, but it's not bad, and you can see we can also see them if we get down here. But as soon as you do this, you can do not see it. If you play your game out here, you have no chance of seeing them. So they are not at issue. Again, it's minor details. There's something weird about the tits here. Something weirdness going on there that I didn't notice on the male. But besides that, I like this coloration for the skin, uh, hands and feet better. Uh, it's still plasticky, especially the feet. But I like it better than on the males. Uh, again, really good fur texture. And we don't run into a lot of fluffiness issue, which I really appreciate. He did a really good job with the fur overall on both males and female. And we get the wrist that is halfway cut up. Again, right here, you can see between the palm and the arm. No, you can't. Here, <laughs> between the palm and the arm part of the wrist. Um, but again, minor, minor detail and play your game as a normal human being and you will never know. Let's see here. Okay, the baby is clearly more fluffy. I think that's very prominent. It still has the light ring. Uh, as the adults have. I think the babies only come in one color. I'm just going to check. Uh, we have, okay, we have two. We have a male and a female, and they're both in this color. Um, they are a little more fluffy, clearly. So we have more of this going on, which I don't see as an issue again, because from out here, it looks as it should. It's because I have this need to go up close like this. 
Again, baby feet here. Not as plasticky as the adults, though. Uh, still a little bit, but not as bad. We have the glitching going on, but keep in mind that might be my computer, so it may not happen on yours. And again, watches for texture. Again, we have some individual strands of these long hairs, but as you can see here, it seems like it's better. We have more that's just from here to there or from there to there. So these are better made in a good length than the uh, male one, uh, adult male. Um, so yeah, overall very good. Very well done, Leaf. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna end the, this video and then I'm gonna make the one on the Northern White Cheek, which you will see tomorrow, same time, same place. Um, and from there on out, we will see. Oh, we have coloration. We have coloration. That's clear to see here. Um, <laughs> that was lucky. I just noticed that. Uh, so we have this more tan color, which comes closer, I guess, to, to the, this color. Um, Wow, that's something we need to look at with the next video. Um, so yeah, um, again, I recommend you watch both. Again, this start where I set them side by side, you don't need to see that in both videos. But I recommend if you watch these videos to figure out what to pick, then watch both so you have a chance of actually learning what to pick. So yeah. As always, guys, you know, drill, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. Really hope to see you again. I'll find the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.